Hi everyone, as you might see, I put on the hoodie. It's not a good idea actually because it's very hot in those and outdoors as well. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna take it off immediately after this video. However, as you might see, I have 42 local here, which is the coding school. I'm gonna talk about it later in this video. And uh, yes, let's dive in. I believe it's a good idea to start with the history of Fortitude School because there is a network of Fortitude Schools around the globe and they do the same, the same system and they interconnect with each other. So basically, Fortitude School uh, got started in Paris in 2013 and um, uh, one of the co-founders was a French uh, billionaire computer scientist and he got the idea that uh, it's not accessible a lot of people in person to learn code and the way I was uh, taught to learn code wasn't that great so he decided to build with a, with a, with a group of people kind of program and they launched that whole program in 2013 uh, in Paris so I think program is uh, available to everyone. They can uh, like adapt it. For example, in Berlin, Wolfsburg, it's uh, they get, like integrated to each other. They uh, they have um, uh, they adapted it, and because it's free, the whole program is free, and they have to just sponsor it. For example, like uh, plays, uh, most of them plays computers, network, etc. And Yes, and the whole 42 school is free, completely free, accessible, and everybody can apply for it. So if you want to learn the code, basically. All right, so what is like a 42? Yeah, probably you already got it, so like 42 is coding school that you can learn to code. And that's a very interesting way to learn to code. For example, uh, maybe like brief introduction, have to, and probably I have to give right now before telling how to, can, have to, have to apply for it, you have to enter the school. Um, uh, basically, um, there is a whole program, a gamification of program that you from level one to level, let's say hundred, and you submit some uh, some object, objects, subjects, tasks uh, to get evaluated and get better levels, etc. And that's how you're gonna improve and learn to code as well. And most of the program will be in C in the beginning, but eventually you can learn something what you want to in the through the curriculum when you're already a part of school. All right, and how to apply for it when you start your journey? Yeah. Uh, basically, uh, you're gonna apply in the website of Fortitude School where you are, and you want to apply for it. And uh, after that, you have to create an account and test uh, basic two tests, I believe, and, and to to see how you how you can um, actually have maybe I don't know why the testing probably the ability to actually think logically. They kind of two test, and and after that, you passed. Uh, if you pass, you get a mail that hey, you can apply for badge. Badge, it's another test. Let's say call it test 2.0. It's gonna be like one month's uh, test, which, which is called Psane. And you have to do one month's uh, do exams, learn with peers. Um, There's basically no teacher, by the way. There's gonna be only like task with a, a brief introduction. For example, um, implement a function FT split in C, for example, that's all. When there's a prohibited function you cannot use or libraries or whatever. That's how it is, and that's very interesting actually. <laughs> um, but it's very um, strict. But that's how it's do, and it have been working. So that's why they continue to do that. So after that, you're gonna pass the whole passing because it's just every day you can't supposed to be there in the school in person. I forgot to mention it. And uh, yes, that's. Oh, that's after that you pass the like, four exams, etc. You have to pass them, and there's a whole lot of other project you can do there. It's already kind of part of school, but not yet. And, uh, and when you pass the whole second task, the same, and you allow it to enter school, which means you can start with the basic curriculum, the first cook, or I don't know how it's called. And uh, in, so then you can start learning and learning the more interesting project you can build. As, as well as the peers, you're gonna proceed for project, you get evaluated, you have exams, and you have a lot of, during your school time, a lot of meetings, for example, AI meeting, or another meeting, like, I don't know, web stream meeting, whatever you're interested in, it's like every feature enter, there's a lot of um, people from other uh, IT branches come out to talk about that, it can be Nvidia, it can be Microsoft, it can be local companies, they're gonna talk about them. Talk about what they're doing. For example, they're talking about how they implement an AI or AWS service in specific branch. That's the whole thing. I really like it. I think it's very cool. And yeah, 
I am right now back in the base curriculum and I but I froze my time there you can freeze it after you entered school because you have some specific um, I don't know personal issues or whatever it can be issues you cannot continue to do that otherwise during the like, curriculum you have to like you have to study you're supposed to study and if you don't study it's better to give up your place to somebody who would like to study so yeah mm, that's why <coughs> in general i just want to like i don't have to come to knowledge i'm going to talk about later but yeah the one of the reasons i really like the whole idea that you study in pairs you want to team up with people and rule something and sometimes you don't have any time because there are like age difference which, which means somebody already have family or don't have time to spend something like that and but you can like find creative of people and make friends and that's really amazing actually because they all have one idea to learn code for example most of them don't know how to code before going to school but it doesn't matter because it's open even the first two tasks may be intensive like it's very hard to deal with that for some people but I guess it's generally worth it to grasp by the how what it looks like and this is time and see. Uh, it can be challenging because a lot of uh, programming issues you can deal with which I don't like <laughs> but it's alright. <laughs> but uh, like in peers it's very something cool as it do a lot of meetings you can enter or a lot of kind of um, clubs let's say you can enter be part of let's say a blockchain club whatever one of them I already started as well building a project uh open some project but they haven't joined me i mean they joined but it was a bit tricky to deal with that i'm gonna talk i'm gonna make a video about later uh about open source project i started i'm trying to do that in person but it didn't go well and um but yeah and uh, let's talk about me what i'm gonna decide to do continue with the 42 school i don't do it anymore because i don't have time i already as you probably know i already have kind of knowledge of programming and i'm gonna build and for the school in general who don't know what exactly they want to do, you know, but can continue to learn coding, they need a place to be, it's free, so why not to do that, yeah. And I think my time is, uh, will, there will be like coming to soon, uh, coming to end to so, uh, soon, because uh, I don't think so I can able to do that, manage with time firstly, and uh, desire as well, you know, because I want to know what I'm gonna build. So I don't need to do extra stuff that I'm not interested, or maybe interested, but not like the better stuff I can do at the time. So why not focus on that? Doesn't mean I'm like smarter or something. I know I just once you got, you know, once you get what you're gonna do with programming, you know, when you can implement, you just do it. You just need to need to extra stuff you, unless it makes fun for you, you know. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, I guess that's kind of some of the whole video. I hope you kind of got the idea what 42 and school is in general and uh, maybe not and you can check out the website about it uh, for further information and yeah see you and good luck with 42 school if you're gonna apply for it. It's a great place to start your coding journey. Bye!